Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Many a True Nerd, and welcome to Kerbal Explosion Program. A game where basically you get a high score if you blow the hell out of everything. That's, that's how this game works. The point is, you blow up Kerbals as much as possible, because Kerbals are monsters. They, they like, they drown puppies, they pull the legs off kittens, they're generally bad people. Basically what I did was I went into the training mode. Uh, there's, there's quite a lot of training in this game, so I couldn't be bothered with all of that. Um, so instead I just did like the, the basic ones at the top. Uh, but when I got to like advanced construction, I started failing them. Because I couldn't figure out what it was trying to tell me to do in advanced construction. Then in go for orbit it told me to do like a controlled burn. But I think my burn wasn't controlled enough. I ran out of fuel and, and we just got stuck in space. and We just floated off. Um, so basically I'm not good enough to do the basic tutorials. Never mind any of these like tutorials. So that's that's the level I'm at. There's just a thing over there. Why is there a thing over there? There's a mysterious black... I'm more in Okay, I know there's a space program over here. I'm kind of more interested in the fact there's a mysterious black thing over there. There's just a mysterious dark thing over there. I don't like it. I don't like the fact it's watching the space program. We shouldn't just, like, you know, say, hey, with a space program. Oh, there's a mysterious, massive, dark thing over there. Should we... Nah, don't worry about it. I'm sure it doesn't pose any risk to the space program. So, because we don't have any funds or whatever, yeah, basically the big thing that we've got in science mode is there's a research and development, which just gives us some basic parts. Then we have to earn science part or science points to unlock new stuff. So, I need to get research. Now, as I understand it, you get research by doing, like, experiments and basically by doing space stuff. So, to do space stuff, we go into the, like, hangar um, and we build, like... Space. Basically, we're gonna get- well, I don't think we're gonna get to space with this. We're gonna- basically, we're gonna have a module. A Kerbal lives in one of them. A Kerbal is one of these things down here. They're just little green dudes. Yeah, that's right? what I figured from the thumbnail. So he lives in there. Um, we want him to go up. To get him to go up, we're gonna need an engine. So I'm just gonna stick an engine. There doesn't seem to be a, a fuel tank, so... Does that have any fuel in it? I hope this has got fuel in it, I don't know. Um, and then we're going to need, we don't need structures, none of this is there. We're gonna put some, okay, I'm gonna put some, some, people were saying, hey, remember to stick like fins on the side of it. How many fins can you have? You can have eight. I'm gonna put the maximum number of fins on. I'm gonna have eight fins. That is gonna be so cocking stable. Um, and then what we need to do is, we need to do science, because we need to unlock things. So, as I understand it, basically, the science experiments, you, you like, you click on them and you open them, and depending on what, like, bit of space you're in or what planet you're on, the goo inside the mysterious goo canister reacts differently. So logically, I could maximise science, you see, by taking loads of canisters and then just opening them as I go up and then come down again. And that logically makes sense, right? So I'm going to take, like, eight canisters with me, and then I would need to remember to put a parachute on top, because once it's gone up, it probably wants to come down again. Next up, staging. Okay, you need to basically do things in stages, where you, you move between the stages by hitting spacebar. So you start at the high stage and you count down. So stage one is this thing fires and takes yeah. thing up. Stage two is prime the parachute, so when you fall, the parachute opens. You don't want them to open, you don't want those things to happen at the same time. Uh, don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to love because I miss you, babe. And I don't want to miss a thing. Woo! Shout out to Thomas Anastasia, who gave us $5 and said, remember to check your staging before you launch. Oh, shit. Um, I was like, um, okay, um, wait, what the, did one, one of you, one of you open. Open the hat. No, open the, open the hatch. Open the, observe. Right, it needs to needs to open. Uh oh, what's? Okay, I need to. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. I've staged the parachute. Okay, so I just want to point out we made the we told the rocket to go. It did go. We performed an experiment, and then the parachute opened. So Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Yeah, uh, we've also got some. Uh... Oh shit! Why did that happen? Oh no, he is fine. It's just that the thing blew up, but he was actually okay. So he actually made it back safely. Ooh, I can make it rock. Oh, I can make it upside down. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it home. 
I'm just gonna make it roll. Okay, the the space station's over there. So all I need to do is I need to make it go this. There we go. There we go. No. Oh, John. Yes. No. Yes. It's fine. I don't. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the SES, which I think like stabilizes it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, that means we've picked up 17 sciences. So, recovery of the vessel that survived a flight gets you five science. We've done a whole bunch of observing the science, but just like you get diminishing returns after the first time you observe it, because we, we didn't get that high. So, I've got 17 science. And Jebediah Kerman survived. So, now we can go to the R&D lab and buy more advanced stuff. So, for example, a swivel liquid fuel engine, a solid fuel booster, and a fuel tank. Ah, you see, a fuel tank. That strikes me as useful. Oh, a decoupler. I feel like I need a decoupler. Yes. Okay, I should probably just buy both of them. Now, the thing is, what I want to do is I want to make it into, into space. So, logically, if I want to get into space, I'm going to need, like, plenty of, like, fuel. So, one, let's put a decoupler in. So, there's a decoupler, which will get rid of all this, like, other stuff after I'm done. Next, I'm going to need loads of fuel, because we want to get really high. So, if I, I think you hold alt and then click. Yeah, hold alt and then click and then hold alt and then click. Fine. So, plenty of fuel. That's loads of flipping fuel right there. And then I just need a, an engine. I'm just going to put a swivel under there. All right, that's all fine. So, now at this point, the plan is basically just fly, like, really far using all this flipping fuel. All right, fly really far using fuel, then decouple, then do experiment in space. Speaking of which, where's the, where's the science? We've got a, we've got a thermometer. So let's just take, let's just take, like, two of them, and we'll put them on the outside of the actual probe here. Uh, so yeah, we can just, like, put, like, two of them out there. And that will... Do we actually have to, like, click on those to do things? I don't know. And then we'll take, like, two goo canisters as well. We'll stick one of them on the door because that's space efficient, all right? And then we'll just stick some, like, aerodynamics because aerodynamics is good. And we'll stick some here and we'll stick some different ones, like fancy ones, like here. There we go. Right, no, 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 no. That'll do. So, as a result of that, we can do different, more interesting experiments and get loads of science. Because we're going to measure okay. how hot space is. Because I'm going to guess space is cold. There's issues related to... Don't fall over. Hope we did this. We probably needed, like, some form of, like, stead... This thing doesn't look stable to me. Do no, is, there maybe a... is there a bit hanging out the back? Is that supposed to be there? Like, I feel Let's like... Let's just say it's the fire... It's the exhaust... I mean, that bit feels... Yeah, that makes sense. That's the exhaust pipe. Right. Let's, let's go with that. Right. So, logically, what we want to do now is, yeah, if we just launch immediately, all we want to do is just get as high as possible. So, activate. Activate. Well, that's great. Something's you... gone wrong with the design. They're saying what you need is to throttle up by pressing T. Oh, yeah. And then uh, I think at this point we've, we've staged past that. Yeah, um, I can do that with, I think it's, I thought it was Z and X. Z, Z, X, and also shift and control. Yeah, I knew about that. I just forgot to, okay, basically, okay, pretend that didn't happen. This time we've put it, we've put the throttle up. We've remembered to throttle. So this time when I hit launch. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we've got plenty of fuel, so logically we want to not activate, like, anything just yet. Do I, do I need to, like, tell this thing to take a temperature reading? Or does this thing automatically take a temperature reading? I think this thing automatically takes a temperature reading. Uh-oh! 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 Claire! Claire! But that's not supposed to happen! That wasn't supposed to- that wasn't supposed to- Okay, activate the SAS! Activate the SAS to stabilise! Activate the SAS to stabilise! It's fine, we've- I think we we put the fit. It's still going. Is it no, it's supposed to go up. It's supposed. Of... Shut up! It's fine. I, I just need to. I just need to sta stabilize the. I just need to. Ooh. The SAS isn't working. Okay, we're out of. We're out of everything. Right. Detach. Prime the thing. Um. Activate a pod. Uh. No. Activate a, a pod. Activate. Observe the goo. We didn't get that high. Okay. We we didn't get that high. Unfortunately. Now. I'm not sure why we spun off. Okay, that activates the RCS. What's the RCS? Because the SAS Rocket is... Rocket Science Control? That I'm would be RSC! That. So, the thing is, the Hammer Solid Fuel Boost is not going to get us that far. But what happens if I were to stack several of them in a row, activating them, one each? 
Uh huh, uh huh. So, one there, then a decoupler beneath it. Alright, then back to an, then back to an engine, and then we just stick another one underneath that. Right. Okay, and then we just put another decoupler under there. All right, then we just put another one under that. Okay, and then we just put another decoupler under there. All right, and then we just get a final one, a solid fuel booster. Boom! Now this, you see, when it runs out of fuel, I can just activate the next one, and it'll just keep going. That seems like it's going to end up being very wobbly, uh, just to uh, mention... Well, that's you. fine, because I'm going to put some fins on the side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba, -ba -ba -ba. fixed. Max out the throttle. Look, we're just going to put it in fifth and then rev it till it goes. Activate fire! Mengele says this is one of the least stable configurations you can make. This is, look, it seems to be working for me. Run out of fuel, and then we just activate the next one. And we just keep going. Mm -hmm. Admittedly, we're going up pretty slowly right now because of the small problem. Also, we're just slightly veering off course. Oh, oh, oh! No, I'm, I'm keeping, I'm keeping, keeping that on. Right, next. I'd say this is working better than people were assuming it was going to work. The only real problem here is I didn't attach enough rockets to it. That's the only problem here. I think we've actually almost made it to space here. Look, I think that that's presumably like space there. Right, fuel. Deactivate and just basically drift up a bit further. And yeah, because we, we seem to be going up anyway, and activate the next one. This is actually the final one at this point. Um, so I think we've pretty much cleared, the yeah. Look at this, this is working, I mean, screw it you all. Like I'm gonna, fire. I'm gonna activate the mystery goo seems to be getting very cold. Doesn't look like it's getting very cold. Right, so I'd say now we are almost burning out of our fuel, and I think we've almost made it into space. Uh, and prepare for the jettisoning of the final one. Jettison. I've just realised there's a small problem with the plan. Yeah, what is it? How do we get back down? Ah, oh, you figured that that's a problem, eh? <laughs> okay. Um, and we can also observe how the goo likes being in space. It's clumped into a sphere and has become brittle. You see, the problem is... Okay, so... I didn't foresee this as a problem. How did you not? I forgot the gravity's like stops being a thing. Like, like. Oh, so you wait a minute. Your plan for coming back was gravity. Crash. <laughs> now I've got a parachute. I. You're in orbit now. I am. I'm, well, I'm not. I don't think I'm in orbit now. Hang on. Go into map mode. No. 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 Look at this. I will eventually come back. Uh, because I'm not in an orbit, I'm going to reach this point and then it's going to... No, this is going to work. Screw you. Look. <laughs> look at that. I'm going to get sufficiently far away from Earth. Then I'm going to run away. I'm going to run out of... Well, not momentum because not... The the Earth's gravity will catch up with me. Hang on. I'm just going to... No, no, no. Speed this up. Speed this the cock up here. I think, actually, 100 times speed, I'm going to get to that point. Then I'm going to start... For I'm coming back to Earth! Ha! Screw you! Screw you and screw the entire chat! I was right! This is actually going to flipping work! Alright, now I just need to... Right, get, get over here. This is fine! This is absolutely... I've actually done it! Wait, where's the, where's the thing? We're gonna have a nice splashdown over here. I just need to remember to prime this when we get close. Do you think you can take the heat of re-entry, by the way? No, I, I'm pretty sure I can't. Uh-oh. Uh, there we go! Is everything else? How is everything? So apparently you need a heat shield. Okay, up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected. So we got heat shields here. Alternatively, we've got stability for nose cones and winglets. I think that's fine. Or we've got more advanced general rocketry. Right, I th we know what we need here. We need to actually have some heat shields. This also gets us a barometer, which is presumably additional sciencing. A radiator. Just in case it gets cold in space, I guess. Should the purple Carrie, bit be at the top, or the or the brown be, bit be at the top? Carrie says it needs to be curved side down between the capsule and the coupler. Cur curve side down? Oh, look, I'm reading the shirt, This is the best rocket science! It needs to be curved side down! It's Both sides are curved! That's how curves work! Convex. People are saying in the chat it should be convex. Convex down or up? 
You're the one who said cupcake <laughs> or convex. They're replying to you with one of two options you provided. Okay, chat. Should it look like a bowl or an umbrella? Just tell us bowl <laughs> or umbrella. Which is correct? Bowl or umbrella? Bowl slide down. Bowl sides down. Okay, we got it. We got it. It's fixed. Right. Okay. Oh, dear. It now works. Okay. Now we can observe the mystery goo. Which should be no. I need to reset that experiment because I want. To, I need to do the bit where it, it clumps into a into a, a sphere because that's the one we haven't seen yet. So activate that. There we are. It's clumping into a sphere. Appears to have become brittle. So that's plus ten science if I can recover, uh, which I think I can do now. So keep that experiment and presumably now this one will be pointless. But screw it. We've got an extra one. Uh, just, yep, there we are. That's also worth 10 size, but it's the same thing, because it's finite per biome. Right, keep that experiment. Uh, conduct the barometer. Toggle display log pressure data. There we go, that's fine. Uh, the, the instrument reads zero. It's as if it was in a vacuum. There we are, we've learned important things here. And also, toggle log the temperature out here. And we've just also recorded the temperature data. Right, keep that experiment. Right, and toggle display. There we go. The display is, it's 340 Kelvins? Is Kelvin temperature? Yes. Yes. Turn, turn into, no, turn into, no, turn into it. Turn, oh, I've got oh, the heat oh, shield. Oh, oh, look, look at the heat shield. The heat shield is helping. The heat shield, oh, I see why the heat shield has to be up here now. Right, okay. Um, also, prepare for the staging of the parachute whenever it's appropriate. Hold on, little heat shield. Hold, you're literally, your one job is to cause me to not explode. But I think hopefully we're, we're... <gasps> Claire, we've done it! We've done it! We've done space! Yay! We've done space! We're we've... definitely go not going to die now. Uh, definitely well, not going to die now. I think this thing is staged. This thing is staged. Okay, now, cool. the other thing they told us was now we're back Point in the atmosphere. the heat shield towards the fire. I just did that. Jet, now we need to jettison the heat shield. because. Mm -hmm. Do we... we not need it anymore now? I hope not, because I'm, I'm trying to get rid of it. Just... It, it's stuck. It's stuck to us. There we Oh, I think I've got it off. There it goes. Bye, heat shields. <laughs> it didn't want to go. Thomas says you're going too fast. I can't slow down. I've got no engines. I don't know if she's saying your spaceship is going too fast or you're going too fast declaring this a victory before we arrive back down. Well, we appear to have a parachute open and mm -hmm. we appear to be heading towards the sea. Like, yeah. th this appears to me to be a massive success. Have, this is, a, is this a parachute or is this a drug shoot? I don't know. Now that we've just picked up some intermediate level rocketing, we've just picked up some new advanced stuff. Like, we've got a solid fuel booster here that's now got a flip ton of fuel in it. So, my view would be, basically, we use these to get out into space. Then we use the thrusters, like the liquid fuel engine, to actually, like, once we're in space, put us into a stable orbit. Because now the plan is orbit. we got to orbit here. It looks a little unconventional, but it's fine. And I just picked up the stability stuff because I figure, like, you can't just have, like, these being flat. You're going to need to have, like, a, a nose cone. So there we are. Now they've all got nose cones. So basically, this rockets don't really look like this very often, do they? What we've got is we've got our main little thing in the middle. This is what's going to fly in orbit. Then these ones are going to be the ones that get you into orbit as part mm. of a big four. Now, presumably they've got... Oh, the problem is now they're all going to fire at the same time. So does that mean they're... Actually, I guess they've got tons of fuel. So it's fine. Valentina Kerman is... Oh, we're going up very fast. Uh, that's good. And we've got... Actually, it looks like we're burning... It feels like we're burning fuel, fuel quite quickly there. I mean, it's nice that we are, we're are we all kind of going up and whatever. That's all great. But it just feels like, yeah, that fuel's going to burn off long before we actually get in towards, like, space. I feel like we possibly should, like, have, like, two of them on one stage and two of them on the other. But they seem to be all looped together because they were all done as a group. But actually, maybe we'll just make it out into space. I'm assuming they are, like, you know, specifically designed to get you into space. So next up, we probably want to start, like, turning to have a bit of a, a bit of a thing here. Actually, it's probably safer just to be straight up. Right, okay, so we're into space and we're still going up and presumably we're going to be okay and we'll get to space in a minute. So as soon as we deactivate this and as soon as we hit space, which I'm assuming is going to be like now-ish, we still seem to be going up. We in space? This space? Does this feel like space to you? As soon as the space music starts, I feel like we'll, I feel like we're in about space. Right, okay, and... 
Go. Right, so, next up, I'm going to throttle right down with this thing. Alright, so now, now we're going in this direction, and we've got the SAS on. Right, now we just need to... I think I just stick closer. I think this is telling me how to get into an orbit. This, this, this nice blue thing. Now, how's my, how's my solid, yeah, how's my, I feel like this is working. How's my fuel doing? My fuel is, uh-oh, uh-oh, um, no, oh, that was, that was the wrong button to push. This is the sort of stuff that we're going to be needing to get into space proper. Because the problem is we just don't have enough flipping fuel or power there. We weren't quite able... We were able to get into space and we were, we were getting close. But I feel like we needed... I needed a big pile more liquid fuel. Uh, cause in order to actually stabilise into orbit. So now we've got advanced rocketry. It's time for a new ship. So I've got eight of these bastards, which are the new ones. To compensate for the fact they seem to have less fuel in them. Okay, and then that's... I'm just gonna just go up here. Hang on, I need to... I think I need to get this just a little bit more on the... I need to get them straight. That seems about straight. Yeah, that's better. That's... that seems straighter. Okay. John, how do I put this delicately? This will explode. Okay, well, I'm John's taking that as a challenge. Diff oh my god, okay. I'm taking that as a challenge. There we are, right. So, maximum up the thrust. This time, we've got the power. Right, so hang on. The, the, the things we're looking for are 10,000, 10,000 meters, then we start turning to 45 degrees, right? Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, go! There we go. Right, so. Plenty of. I have it saved, but, uh, I Plenty have of solid fuel. Activate the RCS and the SAS, and then start heading towards 45 degrees. We're spinning. We're... Should we be spinning? Probably not. We don't look like you're spinning in that picture. Look, look at the look at the, the nav ball. It's rotating. Yeah. Also, I feel like that did not get us anywhere even remotely close to space. Space and orbit are different, apparently. Like that that did that was rubbish next to what I just had a minute ago. That was dreadful. Right, okay. Um well as soon as we stop going up, we have to just start okay, start Okay, now just get this and now start powering that down a bit. Uh power that down a bit. Just like half throttle it. Uh, right, so we need to we need to go to forty five degree ish. Okay, forty five degree. Are you at ten kilometers now? I'm way over ten kilometers. Are you at thirty kilometers? Uh, yeah, about thirty seven. You should uh, have the thrust at fifty percent. It would, I, I, by sheer coincidence, that's about right. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I'm already. I've got thrust down. We've got plenty of liquid fuel here for the time being. Now the problem is. Hang on, let's just see what that means in terms of that. And I'm going at 45 degree angle. Uh, half thrust. We've got plenty of liquid fuel for now. I'm going to go into the map right now. What's that looking like for the... Right, that is not looking like that's going to do the job in terms of an orbit. At all. As Matt and Dan once told me in the podcasts, yeah. orbit is basically a case of falling towards the Earth but consistently missing because you've got enough momentum or thrust yeah. or whatever to miss. And it looks like right now I'm increasingly moving towards missing the Earth. The only question is, am I going to run out of fuel before this this line makes it past the Earth? Faster. More thrust. Yes. But then, then we'll just burn through our fuel faster. Okay, Alex L gave us two dollars. Said more throttle. You're going too slow. Okay, I'm throttling up full to seventy five. Full thrust. Hey, Anna, Okay, you full have to, you full don't thrust. Have to be nasty about it. Full thrust, fine, full thrust, but right. we're burning fuel that liquid fuel quickly. And if I use all this degrees. liquid fuel, I can't. We are we're about ninety degrees, yeah. maybe not quite, but almost. Okay, at this point we're literally re-entering the atmosphere. Okay, I need to go up to avoid the fact that I'm literally re-entering the atmosphere. So everyone, this you need to get above seventy k because otherwise the air drags you down. Ah, I can see how that. I think this is about to go wrong. By the way. I feel like... 45 degree angle at 10 kilometers needs to be along the exact, the exact opposite axis to try to manage all this going the wrong way around the world. Ah. We exploded. Hey, shout out to the person that told us we would explode. Yeah, shout you out to that. Right. Shout out to that person. I feel like this already is going to be way cocking better just because we've got way more flipping fuel and whatever at this point. That's all absolutely fine. So that is that. Then that is... That is... That disables that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
that staging still makes sense. This is just going to be better, because this is just going to be more thrust and more fuel. This is going to get us to the altitude we flipping need. Now, at this point, we've got up to, yeah, we're already up to, we haven't even burnt the solid fuel yet, and we're already beyond the bit where you're on fire, which I assume is the atmosphere, and you into... Start your turn, John. You're already above 10k. You should start your turn. To start, remind me, which way is the turn the turn was supposed to... Towards the east, a 45 degree angle, I think. Okay. Uh, you, you did hit 17k, you just turned the wrong way and then that took you back down again. Okay, I need to I need to stop spinning. I need to stop. The spin is real, people are saying. Yeah, how do we stop spinning? Turn on SAS, please. Turn on SAS. Yep, yeah, fine. And then RCS is already on, which is the rocket control system, right? Okay. Now we've actually got. Now I need to get to that. Turn, turn, turn the thing. I I I'm trying to. I'm I'm literally hitting the the oh. controls. We're not getting much. Right. Okay. Now I've probably got some level of actual control because I'm actually using okay, the thrust. Okay. Now you are at seventy. Yeah, so now we're at 70. Try and turn so that you're like at 90 degree in orbiting. Yeah, agreed, agreed. And also east, also eastwards. Uh, which yeah. angle is east? East is 90. Yeah. Oh, I'm going completely the wrong cockpit way. 180. <laughs> I think oh, it's you're this. Going, you're going to... 90. You're going the opposite way. No, I'm not going the opposite way. Activate oh. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. We've still got some of our fuel. Right. We are now going at 90 degrees. And we are at, at, like, the horizon thing that people were saying. So 90 degrees, horizon-y. Okay, we're also at 160 kilometers up. That feels like that's that's beyond 70. Well, actually, look at this. Uh, this is... Stop burning. Stop stop burning? I don't know. People you just... Everyone was saying, oh, why, why is your thruster not at maximum, you fool? The right. same contradictory things, all right? I all right, okay. Trying. Liquid fuel. Okay, fuel has been deactivated. Let's check if this is still... Expanding. Uh, Yannick Binder gave us her five. That is now not growing anymore. That is now not growing. I need to turn this back on at least a little bit because otherwise we're not we're not we're not escaping anymore. I'm just gonna put it on at like half. All right, mm -hmm. and that's gonna yeah now it's growing again. I think actually I think we've nearly done it. I think we're almost there. Look at this. This is actually expanding pretty nicely. We're now far enough away from whatever the hell this planet that the Kerbins live on is that we're actually almost into. We're almost into... Oh. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me this one, give me this one. How much fuel do we have left? We've still got some fuel. <gasps> oh. Yeah, people oh. were saying this would have worked if John had started turning. What do you mean, would have worked? Look, look how it's about to work. Look at this is totally about to work. Probably. Oh, 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 oh. Keep going. Don't stop. You need to burn as you reach the highest point oh. of popsis. I think we might actually have an orbit. I think okay, okay, now we need to okay, now we need to stop. Now we need to No, that's the that's the opposite of stop. No, that's the C off full throttle until the orbit is a circle, John. Is it, oh there it is, there it is, right. Log the temperature. Right. So if we can just get this old girl back, uh, which as has been established might be a bit of a problem. Yeah. Then we get loads of science. But I can transmit the data for like 42% of the science. So And also uh -huh. I yeah, so, and also I can uh, do a, hang on, transfer crew. Wait, where was the EVA thing that we saw last time? So you click the module, and then you yeah, uh, click the module. Like science or whatever, and then you have to click on the actual person. Ah, yeah, yeah, right. But so also, I'm not sure you've EVA. done research that allows you to do EVAs, unless you've done Well, that. this person is now clinging to the edge of this thing. And now I'd like that person to EVA report, please. Okay. So EVA report is worth a lovely, lovely... Yep, that's... What... Actually, we can transmit that data for 100% of the science value. Grey Morality says, uh, in order to get back, you will need to burn backwards at the highest point to lower the opposite side of the orbit. The highest point? As in, like, the furthest yeah, point I from Earth? So. Uh, Magra's polar bear, who's also... Oh, yeah, to, to slow us down. Yeah, yeah, to slow us down so that this thing will start going in towards Earth. That makes sense. I think we can figure this out. Like, we're only 424,000 metres oh, from home. Goodness. Well, we're in space. This is what we're supposed to do. Where's the moon, by the way? Where is that moon thing? The moon is... Oh, cock. So now, basically, what I need to do is if I just now... Now facing that way, if I now fire everything I've got... I might have a chance of resetting the orbit in such a way as I will intercept with the planet again, presumably. So all I need to do now is basically throttle up like crazy, and we've done it. That's it. We've already done it. That is, we are now going to bring her back into to Earth. So we may as well now at this point. 
We're done. We're done. We've actually done it. I see John also subscribes to the Jeremy Clarkson School of Rocket Science. Ignore the geeks. More power. <laughs> Look, has it or has it not worked? Well, the is saying you're dead, so... I'm not dead. I've got a heat shield. I just need to I just need to jettison this and then I've got a heat shield. Don't crash, stop, 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 stop thrusting, you're overdoing it, John, you're gonna die, stop dead. <laughs> stop. He is dead, stop. You're stop, all stop, such stop, die, you're die, all die. such too negative Nelly. You're such no Steve. You're, too much. you're right, such <laughs> negative Nelly. It is fine. <laughs> it is fine because now at this point we probably activate the next stage of the process, which is now we detach that. Okay, and now we just basically just make sure. Have I just screwed up the? No, the orbit's fine. Then I just basically turn this girl around. I just turn this girl around a bit to line her up with the Earth, and then we just bring her in with the heat shield. And I may as well just prep the parachute now. Now, admittedly, I, I do see that we're going pretty fast right now. I yeah. do see that's that's moderately fast. Yes. Which I'm, I'm beginning to see some of the issue that might potentially be coming in here. Like the fact that we're, we're literally plummeting to Earth at spit. Okay. Come on, little heat shield. Prove them all wrong. Prove them all wrong. I believe in you, you little heat shield. Too early, it will burn up. I didn't deploy it. I, I, I staged it to... Uh-oh. 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 No. No, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're getting... Well, you can open the parachute in, like, <gasps> soon. Screw you all. Screw you all. Open Screw you all. No. It's, 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 it, no, it's, it's staged automatically. It's already staged. It's in. It's in. Screw you all. Screw you all. Screw you all. John Space Program. Screw you all. And also Claire. Screw everyone. Because I have created the base best bro flare back on damn it, I fluffed it at the end. Please explode <laughs> now. It would be so beautiful. Oh shit, I need to I need to jettison this. I need to set jettison this. Jettison the heat shield. Screw you. Screw you. Get off get off my ship! Get off ah, the ship! I think the next is the first moonshot. The, the, the plan is not to actually land on the moon. We just need to get like, you know, close to it or whatever. Has not exploded! No explosion. Recover the vessel. That is going to be so much cocking science. Okay. I know this isn't that sophisticated, but it's going to have enough power to punch our way to the moon. Because that, that is what this space program is about. We are going to punch the moon god in the face. Too long as the moon be like, oh, you can't get me. I'm all over here. No. We are going to send the fist of Luna to the moon and we are going to punch that bastard right in his smug, cratery face. Good luck, Bill Kerman, because you're in this. Okay, this is, this is possibly just going to explode immediately. Uh-oh. It's sort of vibrating at the bottom. <laughs> It's sort of vibrating, but it's fine. Oh, it's because it's really heavy. The problem is it's really heavy. Um, that's part of the issue. It's because I'm trying to I'm trying to take a lot of fuel up into space right now. Right, I'm seeing the pro uh oh, uh oh, no, no, stab stabilize, 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 stab stabilize, stabilize. Okay, it's 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 starting to it's starting to to go a bit wrong, but we can we can fix that when we actually decouple the first stage, which we can probably do like now. Right, this this bit's gonna be. There we go. No. There we go. I forgot to turn it on. It's fine. 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 Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Why is it going in this direction? I feel like it shouldn't be going in this direction. Also, it's spinning. Why is it, why is it, and also why is it, why is it glowing like that? What's it doing? This, Claire, that's probably bad, isn't it? This isn't really close to the moon, to be honest. I thought this was going to, like, you know, majestically soar forever. But it's, it's, I feel like we just have nowhere near enough power. We've managed to convert this mess into an orbit. The problem is, I need to, con I don't know, like, let's talk about the moon next. How are we going to get to the cocking moon? If you're headed to the moon, you absolutely need to get the chat to teach you the way of the maneuver node. I don't know what that is, but I'm not sure you have one. Is that like that thing in like the film Lost in Space where you spin round and round the Earth faster or run round Jupiter in order to like jump to Alpha Centauri? Because that was in the film Lost in Space. 
which was great because Gary Oldman really chewed the scenery in that one. So people are saying the Oberth effect is using planets like a slingshot. Also yes, a like in Lost in Space. Like in The Martian. Like in Lost in Space. And also The Martian, a, a vastly inferior film. Oh, I'm sorry. In The Martian, does Gary Oldman turn into a giant, terrible CGI bug? No. No, he doesn't. Inferior film. How do you actually figure out what you're doing? I don't, I don't know how you... <laughs> okay, t- shut up. So, 2017, <laughs> how do you actually figure out what you're doing? Shut up, Claire. The real thing you need is ballast for the bridge of your ship. What to call that dive? Uh, as a side note, I have a degree in sp- space. Is he actually action. serious? Do I actually need ballast? I don't believe so. <gasps> Damn it! He says, side note, I have a degree in spacecraft systems if you need help. He may have a degree in space-based systems, but come on, it's not brain surgery. Cock it, let's, let's, and now I've built this, let's try using this thing to actually just look so not like a spaceship. This is not what NASA would build. Five, four, three, oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four, three, two, one, launch! There we go. So, we'll see how this flipping does at this point. We're burning through liquid fuel. Why is this one? Why is that one not burning fuel? Uh oh, uh oh, Claire, Claire! Jettison! Jettison! No, 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 fix it, fix it! No, you should start turning to, uh, 45 degrees! You should start turning to 45 degrees, you're at 10 kilometers, and now you should turn to 45 degrees east! We're going to 45... East is gonna be a problem! East is gonna be... I think that's almost east, that's almost east! That's, that's almost... No! Yes! No! Uh... Guys, I tried! That's... The, the, the rocket has a mind of its own, okay? Do you think actually, like, at, ver- at some point NASA made the conscious decision to make all its rockets look like giant cock and balls? Even though that was a, a conscious design decision at some point. That the default design for rockets should be, let's just fly a massive phallus through space. Okay, now activate next stage. Begin burning fuel. Okay, so we got rid of all of that, but we've still got a few, uh, quite a bit of fuel here, but admittedly not much. Not much fuel here. I feel like this is not going to be anywhere near enough to actually get ourselves, not even, we might be able to get into orbit, but we're not going to make it anywhere near the moon. Actually, like, look at this, like, we've, we've got enough fuel to get massively out here somewhere, which is sufficiently far away from, okay, that's going to put us on an intercept course with the moon, so I'm just going to, um, actually, yeah, power down, 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 down. we've still got a little bit of fuel here, that's, okay, so, if I power down at this point, and now we just basically speed things up a little bit, how fast does the moon go? Because if we were just like the other side of the world, I feel like we'd be doing all right here. Let's just warp up time here. Warp up some time. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So what we need to do here is, now we need to just basically start trying to correct a bit. All right. I think we can, we might be able to collide with the moon. Space is in 3D and you need to turn your camera to check like the dimensional. Ah, you can see how the ellipsis right. uh, of yeah, the orbit that see. we're on is not on the same plane as the... It's pretty so close it. though. It's, it's No, but not on the return. Not on the return, no. Uh, Whatever I do now, I'm not going to catch the moon on this rotation. No. Because the moon is, is going so much faster than me, I'd need to be going significantly faster than it. Unless of course... Does a, does a rocket go faster than the moon? No. Does it not? I'm gonna assume How fast that. does the moon go? I'm gonna see if I can maybe burn a bit of fuel while facing. Which way am I facing right now? If I'm facing to the, where where the cock am I? And where's where's the Earth? Yeah, I need to turn. Oh, sorry, the the moon. Yes. Moves three thousand and six hundred kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast. Yeah. That's really cocking fast. Well, I can go that fast too. Well, I don't need to. I don't need to race. I just need to. I just need to get to its orbit. I just need to get to its orbit. So now I'm facing roughly what I think is the right way, logically, to like get to the. That's down. No, that's. That seems about right. Right. Back into back into moon mode. I'm gonna slightly just thrust up a little bit here. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm just gonna add a little bit of thrust, and we're gonna see what that changes in my orbit. Because now my orbit is. Now my orbit's expanding. Okay. My orbit is currently expanding. Now, 
if I was to also, if I was to face up at this point, if I was to go face up, now my orbit ellipsis is flattening and getting closer to the moons. Okay. So if I if I just face up this way, my orbit's going that way into the moon. So now my orbit is expanding, but the problem is I'm I really wish you could have fuel on the same thing as this one. It's kind of annoying that you can't have fuel at the same screen as the as the map screen. Uh, there's probably a way to do that, but I don't know it right now. So I'm now going over to here. Now I'm going to fuel down because at this point, look at that. Now, now I've got an orbit that might bring me... Uh, I'm probably not going to make it there. The problem is, okay, if we just speed that up a little bit at this point, presumably I'm the moon's going to... Yeah, the moon's going to get there way faster than me. Okay, but what if I wait for this next time... To, let's just slow know, it down. Maybe, oh, oops, no, slow it down. You're, go, you're going much faster because you did the slingshot thing around the Earth. Yeah. The orbit effect. Yeah. Okay. So now, you now you've got to try and correct your course. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here just to see what things look like in terms of the moon because right now it feels like now it feels like me and oh, the yeah. Uh, people are also saying that the solar system in in Kerbal Space Program and the actual moon are not. Are not exactly the same. Exactly the same. Okay. Yes, I did just Google how fast does the moon go, obviously. I mean. Now I think at this point, I'm now going faster than the moon. Velocity 542 m's per second. Because the slingshot thing. Yeah, now I'm going twice as fast as the moon. But I'm not using up any fuel, and I'm not on a crash course with Earth. So if I just basically spin around the Earth repeatedly, sooner or later, I'll get a good intercept course. What's my speed right now, by the way? Oh, my speed is, I really see that. Oh, hang on. Right, okay, slow things down here. My speed right now is faster than the moon, and I'm close to the moon. I'm pretty close to the cocking moon right now. I see you there, you moony bastard. Right, Claire, we're on its tail now. I'm so close to the moon right now. Okay, the moon is gonna... I'm gonna make the moon mine. All right, it's gonna be fine. I just need to... No, not this way. No, this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. This, this way. This wait, this the orientation's a bit confusing. Right. I need to like I need to like get in front of the moon. Like I'm a police officer, like doing like a stop. Okay, now I just need to I'm just gonna throttle up a little bit here. Throttle up just the Burn retrograde now. Burn retrograde? No, I'm not I'm not trying to intercept I can't land on the moon. I'm just gonna actually I could land on the moon. <gasps> Shit, I could land on the moon. We are turning in the right direction, but I I really oh, you missed it. You missed another intercept. What? Apparently. It's right cocking there. It didn't get past me. It's right in front of me. Screw all this math business. For oh, I'm almost out of fuel. Claire. Claire, we're almost out of fuel. Why am I going away from the moon? Why would anyone have told me to go away from the moon? Just just get... No, 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 no. Okay. Pro, pro, pro grade. Pro grade. Pro grade. Pro grade. Pro grade 100% throttle, says uh, the people. Pro grade 100% throttle. No, they're all wrong. Activate throttle. Right, go, 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 go. The purple line is John's He will slingshot past the moon and enter a solar orbit, leaving his Kerbal in perpetual hell <laughs> as he's going to fly past his home over and over again. Oh, you're going right out of the solar system. You the see purple is your future trajectory, apparently. Right. Oh my word. Well, I was going for the moon. Well, yeah, I know you were going. I've for run the out moon. of fuel now, so I guess we may as well see where this one actually goes at this point. Um, just, just so just faster, speed faster, it up. Faster, yeah, so I got I got close to the moon, and then the moon has slung me off into space. Now I've got no fuel, um, so we may as well go up to ten thousand times speed. So now I'm. Where the cock am I going now? Uh, ten. Okay, so yeah, now I've now I've naffed off from Kerbin, from Kerbin and the Moon, and also an unknown object, which is quite frankly a little bit unnerving that there's a random unknown object. Uh, yeah. So now I'm just naffing off over here, but presumably sooner or later I will hit something. Yep. So I'm basically just I'm like I'm just nearby to Kerbin. I'm just hanging out nearby to Kerbin, but I'm never actually getting close to it. Uh, and this time, by the way, like days are passing in seconds. This guy's just spent weeks in isolation at this point with no yeah, chance of ever so, getting um, home. Mm -hmm. I've got an idea. The idea is we're going to have you EVA and then we're going to have him <laughs> uh, let no. go. And then we're just going to have him float oh, no, off John. into the sun. Oh, John, no. We're just going to, we're just going to. 
There he is. Mark Garnet says we can save him. If we actually can, just tell us how. What I think they mean is, theoretically, it's possible to rescue him. Not that I could. No. No. I'm sending out the Argo No. 2 just to see if the same wibbly happens or whether that was just a one-off. Oh, seriously. If that, was a, if that was just a one-off thing, if there's, maybe that's going to keep happening, I'm not sure. Yeah, it happens every time, as it turns out. Now just wait for the, uh, the Apocolosyntosis point to be at roughly the same level. Prepare to drop that when need be. Just keep it full at the moment, but be prepared to hit, yeah, X the moment you're, you don't want that to expand anymore. So just ready with that X key. The moment the AP point is at roughly the trajectory as the moon, and that will be fine. And then just wait for it, and boom. Maybe just a tiny bit, tiny bit of thrust, tiny bit of thrust, tiny bit of thrust. There we go. That's the one. Right, so now we have got ourselves not perfect, but it'll flip and do. Now we just turn off the fuel. How much fuel do we have left at this point? We've still got half the tanks. We've got way more than we had last time. You need to stop accelerating, please. I've stopped accelerating. Okay. And now we just basically oh, gotcha. wait to see what's going on. Now, obviously, we're nowhere near the moon right now, but probably what I want to do at this point is just do one rotation just for the sake of getting my speed up because this this one's nowhere near the moon that's fine oh okay that's fine then we're just passing by the moon now this one this one is the one where we start thinking about uh your periapsis is probably too low okay you know i'm sensitive about that and i don't like you mention that in front of the chat <laughs> Okay, I noticed that on this occasion, I'm going to get pretty close to the moon because the moon is going to mess up my orbit and toss me off into space like the other guy. So that's probably a really good sign that if I was to do some form of very careful controlled burn, I might be able to hit yeah, I mean, the moon. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. So if I was to retrograde, like close by to the moon, right on the periapsis... Then Are you just using words? Yes, maybe. <laughs> Shut up. You. It almost sounded like I knew what I was talking about for a second. Yeah, but you're you, so... Okay, right. Clearly, <laughs> the moon is going to start throwing us into problems about here. This is going to be the problem. I think we could hit the moon. I think we could hit the moon about here. All right, we've, we've got a good intercept with the moon going on, damn it. We can make this work. All right, this is going to be the finale. We're either going to hit the moon or die trying. Probably the latter. Retrograde at the periapsis was 100% correct. So if we knew what that <laughs> means, that would be really great. Well, here's the moon periapsis. So we are really good well, that's the at moon faking knowing what we're talking okay, about. Okay, here really. is the moon periapsis. So if I fire retrograde here, presumably I slow myself down enough that I get sucked into the moon that's... rather than being flung around it. If I retrograde to slow down here, retrograde, right, spin to retrograde, and then begin putting a bit of thrust. But yeah, because now the line is bringing me towards... Full throttle towards the yellow cross, John. Full throttle towards the yellow cross. Well, I'm on the yellow, I'm on the yellow cross right now. Now I'm, I'm retrograding. How much flipping... How much flipping fuel okay, do I have? Okay. I've got enough fuel. You transferred into the moon's gra gravitational well. This is why some stuff went weird. Ah, you I think we've actually got ourselves. Well. Okay. Please burn retrograde at the periapsis. I am burning retrograde right now. And I think <laughs> I've got a... No, 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 not now. You need to wait for the periapsis. I don't know. The periapsis is way over there. I, I think I've already got an intercept. Oh, I've almost got an intercept course. Okay. Just a little bit more. I just need a little bit more. Just wait until the periapsis, though. Like, they were right all along. Yeah, but that periapsis is really close. Okay. That looks like an intercept course to me. There we go. That That's an intercept course. That is absolutely an intercept course. Okay. We are getting to the cocking moon. Getting to the moon. You will crash. Yes, listen to Claire. Just wait. Please wait until P.E. Well, P I think it's a bit late for P now. P is now literally inside the moon. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna prograde until the P. Okay, there we are. Now we've got a PE that is no longer on the moon. Okay, there we are. Okay. Now everyone's saying wait till the PE. Mm -hmm. All right. So now the moon's the moon's like periapsis is now in space again. So now we're just gonna go over there. All right. But what do they need? What do they want me to do? Do they, need, do they want me to? Pr um, Retrograde when I'm at the periapsis. Yes! Right, okay. 
Here we go, you stupid massive bastard. I'm coming for you. I'm getting down onto the moon, all right? I can land because I've got a parachute. Remember to set it. No, no, you can't land because you have a parachute. Parachutes do not work on the moon. There is no atmosphere. There is no air. Parachute will not open. There will not be like any kind of traction. There's nothing. Okay. To support the parachute. No, 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 die. no. Then all I need to do is I just need to jump out. I need to jump out when I close because then I can use my jetpack because there's no gravity. Mm -hmm. Huh? Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, you're probably wrong. Shut up. Okay. And then we've got the. Oh, cock, it's the moon. Cocking. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Yeah, but it's pretty big. Yes. It's pretty cocking big. Of course it's of course it's big. Well now I'm intimidated by it. It's bigger than I was expecting. Stop with the performance anxiety and burn retrograde. Well no, you've been specifically telling me the moon periapsis do not burn retrograde until moon periapsis. We are ready to burn, but not until I hit the cocking periapsis, alright? Alright, alright, alright. Right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Activating fuel. Right, now, what do you want me to actually do? Presumably you want me to actually hit the moon, right? Okay, hang on. Zo yeah. Zoom out, and now hit retrograde. Hit retrograde. Ah, you're wanting, are they wanting me to form an orbit around the moon? Yes! But that's not what I want, don't want to do. I want to get to the cocking surface. But you can't. Yes, I can. No, your jetpack has limited fuel. You can't slow down enough. Thank you, Captain Carnage, for two Canadian dollars. In that explanation, that actually makes sense. But that's not fair. I want to get down to the moon. I meant to crash into the moon. I never planned to be in a position where we might actually be, like, circling the moon, which we are, which I'm pretty bloody pleased with, that we're orbiting the moon. But I'm going down there. Oh, it's... Is that what the channel is? Like, oh, you've got to do the parapsis because they actually wanted me to, to form a stable orbit yes! rather than crash. Well, I wanted to crash into the moon. The, the chat has completely misunderstood the objective here. I know the jetpack has limited fuel, but if I jump out at absolutely the last minute when we're approaching, a, a, like really at a shallow angle, because there's no atmosphere, there's no burning anyway. Right. Continue activating this. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Here we to go. To crash into go. the moon, just keep burning retrograde. Thank you, Joshua. Yeah, there we are. Uh, just stay pointing retrograde, burning slowly. Okay, there we go. Just keep burning. There we go, there we go. Yes, yeah. he did want to suicide into the moon. That's exactly I right. am not suiciding. I am coming in for a landing. Yeah, keep burning retrograde if you want to crash. Okay, there we are. No, I'm not I'm not crashing. I'm you not... can jump and jetpack onto the surface, says Racer Cohen. Ha! One person believes in me. And now, what should start happening momentarily is this this altitude counter should start going down. There it is, right. So now the altitude counter is going down. That's absolutely fine. So all I can do at this point is when we get sufficiently close by to the moon, like what are people gonna what what does the chat say? Like maybe under a thousand meters? Like uh, is a kilometer fall in low gravity with a jetpack acceptable? Uh, let's see what they have to say about that. Let's see that. what they have to say, because we're now coming up on the moon. And now I have no way of technically landing in my lander, because people are saying the parachute's not going to work. But now we're coming in nice and slowly. Yeah, here we go. I burn all your fuel in retrograde. Why? What's the point? Because apparently that's how you land. Yeah, but that's just going to make it so that I'm... That's just going to make it so that the approach angle is steeper because then I'll be coming in steeper and I don't want to come in steeper. I want to come in as shallow as possible. That's the whole point. So, uh... Um, you can burn retrograde to slow down. This is probably enough fuel to make a proper soft landing. I don't... I don't trust myself to do that. Yeah, sure. I, I'm more comfortable doing an EVA and then basically the moment we get wait, wait, wait. to... you're more comfortable... Like literally jumping out of the ship without yes. a parachute. Yes, yes, I am. Pack. Yes, okay. I am. Jump! And now just zoom away! Well done. We were on the moon. Not for long, but we were there. We made it to the moon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on our Kerbal Space Program stream. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. This has been many a true nerd. Thank you all so very, very much for joining us. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Goodbye. This here, this is the face of death.
Okay. This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me. <laughs> 